Hello, my dear students. Good morning. How are you? How did you do in the midterm exam? I hope you have done quite well. You did well in the exam. Uh, if you have any questions, please let me know. Uh, my advice to you today is that you have to stay at home. You have uh, to keep yourselves healthy, happy, and comfortable. And uh, this will help you focus on your studies and uh, get high marks. You will do quite well and maybe very well, more than or better than ever. And you can get uh, high marks. You can uh, be very good at English grammar. You must practice it. You must practice English grammar. You must study the units we have studied very carefully, very slowly. You can, you, you can of course, uh, read the rules, read the examples, uh, study the examples, and then you can do the exercises after that. When you have done all these things, I'm certain, I'm quite confident that you uh, could do, uh, I mean, very well in the exams and in life later on, because grammar is very important. Grammar is very important to English speakers, English writers, English listeners, uh, and users of English uh, in all walks of life, in all fields of life. Um, that's, I mean, my advice to you. And I hope that you are well today, as we have said. And uh, let's move to the next part. We have English grammar today, English one, and uh, we have unit 27 with could and uh, could have. You must call, differentiate between could plus infinity without two, could go, could be, could have, and could have a plus the past participle. Could have, uh, for example, gun, could have come, could have found, could have seen, could have made, and so on. So try to make sure that you uh, understand everything. And if you have any questions, please let me know. Tell me in time so that I can make things clear for you and you would be in a very good situation. Let's move to the uh, lesson today. So our lesson today focuses on the differences between could do and could have done. That's quite simple and quite easy. Uh, and I hope that it would be clear for you uh, throughout my discussion and explanation. Uh, let's uh, see this example. Look uh, at this example. We use could in a number of way ways. Sometimes could is the past of can. Um, for example, listen, I can hear something. Now, uh, yesterday or in the past, I listened. I, I could hear something. But could is not only used in this way. You also use could to talk about possible actions. Now, or in the future, especially to make suggestions. For example, uh, what shall we do this evening? Two friends are talking to other. We could go to the cinema. Mm, that's right. When you go to Paris next month, you could stay uh, with Julia. Yes, I suppose I could. Can is also possible in these sentences. We can go to the cinema. Uh, with could, the suggestion is less sure. Yeah, you, there is doubt. It is not certain.
we also use could not can for actions which are not realistic for example I'm, t I'm so tired I could sleep for a week I'm so tired I could sleep for a week this is not real uh, not I can sleep for a week it does not express ability excess possibility compare can and could I can stay with Julia when I go to Paris realistic maybe I could stay with Julia when I go to Paris possible but not uh, certain that's sure this is a wonderful place I could stay here forever unrealistic so could is used for uh, unrealistic actions we also use could not can to say that something is possible now or in the future the meaning is similar to might or may uh, for example the story could be true but I don't think it is it could be true but it uh, I don't think here you can't use uh, can I don't know what time Liz is coming. She could get here at any time. It is possible for her to I mean to come at any time. We also could use we or use could have for past events or actions. We use could have done to talk about the past. Compare. I I'm so tired now. I'm so tired I could sleep for a week now present action I was so tired in the past I could have slept for a week uh, but I didn't the situation is bad today or now but it could be worse the situation was bad but it could have been worse in the past uh, something could have happened it was possible but it didn't happen uh, for example why did you stay at the hotel when you were in Paris you could have stayed with Julia but you didn't stay with Julia you didn't stay with her I didn't know that you wanted to go to the concert I could have got you a ticket but I didn't get you a ticket because I didn't know it was in the past Dave was lucky he could have hurt himself when he fell yes that's in the past but fortunately luckily he is okay he is unhurt he is unharmed we use couldn't to say that something would not be possible now I couldn't live in a big city I'd hate it it wouldn't be possible for me everything is fine to right now things couldn't be better for the past we use couldn't have done couldn't have done we had a really good holiday it couldn't have been better now after the rules after the examples I hope that you have understood everything every item uh, if you don't or if you have any difficulty with these uh, items which I have just explained uh, please please let me know let me know tell me so that I can make things more I mean clearer uh, now we turn to the exercises here answer the exercise questions with a suggestion a use quote here where shall we go for uh, our holidays hmm we could go to Scotland what shall we have for a dinner tonight we could have uh, I mean fish for dinner tonight when shall I phone Angela we could phone her now uh, what shall I give uh, Anne for her birthday you could give her a book where shall we hang this picture you could hang it in the kitchen
Now we turn to equals, I mean, exercise uh, number two. And some of these sentences you need could, not can. A change, the sentence change uh, can into could. Replace can with could. The story can be true, but I don't think it is. Yeah, it must be, I, it could be true. Number two, it's a nice day. We can go for a walk. Uh, can go uh, and could go as possible. Number three, I'm so angry with him. I can kill him. I can kill him or I could kill him. Uh, of course, ah, if you're hungry, we can have dinner now. Uh, it's so nice here. I can stay here for all day, but unfortunately, I have to go. I could stay because it's not realistic. Number six, where is my bag? Have you seen it? No, it can be, it could be in the car. Peter is a keen musician. He plays the flute and he can also play the piano. Number eight, I need to borrow a camera. You can borrow mine or you could borrow mine. Uh, nine, number nine, the weather is nice now, but it ca can change later on, or it could change later on. Complete the sentences, use could or uh, could have done, or is it possible, with a suitable verb. Number one. What shall we do this evening? I don't mind. We could go to the cinema. Number two. I had a very boring evening at home yesterday. Why did you stay at home? You could have come out with us. Number three. There is an interesting job advertised in the paper. You could apply for it. What sort of job? Show me the advertisement. Number four. How was your exam? Was it difficult? It wasn't so bad. It could have been worse. Number five. I got very wet walking home in the rainy last night. Uh, why, did, why did you walk? You could have taken a taxi. Number six. Where shall we meet tomorrow? Well, uh, I could, me I could, uh, of course, go uh, to your house if you like. Exercise number four. We have here complete the sentences using, uh, of course, couldn't or couldn't have plus these verbs uh, in the correct form. So with couldn't alone, we use come or find. With couldn't have, we must use the past participle form of the verb. So we must use been, come, found, got, lived, worn, and so on. Uh, let's see this question. The first one. I couldn't live in a big city. I did it. This is an example. Number two. We had a really good holiday. It couldn't have been better, referring to the past. Uh, number three, I uh, couldn't wear that uh, hat. I'd look silly and people would uh, laugh at me. Uh, number four, we managed to find the restaurant you recommended, but we couldn't have found it without the man that you drew for us. The map, of course, without the map. You drew, you drew a map for us, and your map, of course, uh, made us find it very easily. So we managed to find the restaurant you recommended, but uh, we couldn't have found it without the map 
that you drew for us. Uh, number five, Paul has to get up at four o'clock every morning. I don't know he does how he does it. I couldn't get up at that, or I can't get up. Yes, I couldn't get up at that time every day. It's quite impossible for me to do. Uh, 